Hail Metal Nation! This is Podcast Them Down. I'm Tim, that's Mike, and Mike's gonna take it away. All right. <laughs> I've recently discovered... I've discovered the existence of, of hot YouTube, or I guess TikTok, chocolate guys. <laughs> like, they make... Whoa, wait, what? What? Yeah, okay, so they, they make chocolate, and they're, they're really attractive, and they it's just the way that they compose themselves that I really don't, I I don't like for some reason. All right. So (laughs) I found Amari Gushan. I found his TikTok. All I had to search was hot TikTok chocolate guys. And that is now in my browser history. Thanks. (laughs) Okay. So (laughs) there's only one real thing that bothers me about, about Amari Gushan. He's clearly very talented. Okay. He's clearly like I don't know if his stuff is like good because he's usually like sculpting more than he is cooking, right? Like like he's got a chocolate 3D printer. He's got these machines that just like pour out liquid chocolate. There, don't put your mouth on and the then, nozzle. Yeah. <laughs> um so you know, it's it's not anything to do with the fact that he, it's it's not jealousy. It's the fact that every time they pan to him, he's got like this kind of semi satisfied smile on his face. Yeah, it's it's you all know. teeth. It's and if if you were truly, yeah, if if you were truly concentrating, you wouldn't be doing that. I mean, you'd be like, you know, when you're focused on something and then you come like your brain comes back to reality. I frequently find my face in some sort of weird ass configuration. Yeah. (laughs) I'm like biting my tongue or I'm like, I've got like my hand in the air and there's no reason for it to be in the air. (laughs) But him, his concentration look is apparently just like attractive smile. And then what happened is that I went down like this rabbit hole and I can't find the guy now, but I found another Oh no. <laughs> YouTube hot chocolate guy. And he did the same thing. It was the same, you know. Yeah, you know, he's concentrating, but he just. He looks dashing chocolate the entire time. Chocolate fire hydrant, my first spicy content. <laughs> spicy? What? what? I'm just reading you what it says. Is it. Oh. D- I, I just watched this man hug a chocolate balloon dog. <laughs> that's the one. with the smile on his face that's the one I with the on. smile on his face yeah okay so you know w- watching him work he's clearly talented I just don't understand like like <laughs> there's so much attention uh, paid to his appearance in the video do you know what I mean he's got a chef's jacket on or a baker's mm-hmm. uniform you know it's, he's trying to look professional and smiling yeah, like I, he's clearly meant to look like very, very, like friendly and happy, and like he's so interested in what he's doing. And I just find it so bizarre. I'm looking for another guy. <laughs> I found him once, and maybe, maybe Amari Gushan is just the only one, right? Like, and I just discovered a a copycat somewhere. So, so maybe this isn't really like an epidemic, like a, like I was thinking it was. I don't know. There's. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. That, that's another trend on all these, uh, platforms I hate is, uh, so I found a guy named topper guild and they're basically oh. just wasting food for fake internet points. He's not making a chocolate sculpture. He's like, when I want chocolate milk, and then he pours, you know, an industrial size barrel of cocoa powder into a bucket. It's like, you're not going right. to fucking eat that. You know, at least like chocolate sculpture could be displayed somewhere and then eaten, you know, but 
This guy's just a dick telling, waiting, wasting food. Are you telling me you don't like how to basic? I love how to basic. That is the <laughs> duality. How to basic is brilliant. <laughs> no, it, I, but, I, but, it, that guy's egg budget. <laughs> I love what is he had the April Fool's video where he just like in real time showed Yeah, it was it was well, wasn't it like an eight hour slow <laughs> <Yeah>. cooker? <laughs> right. He just filmed it for eight hours. Yeah, so I do love how to basic, but somehow that doesn't bother me anywhere near as much as this asshole I just looked at. <laughs> I I think because it's like the the purpose of how to basic is to like intentionally catch you off guard yeah <laughs> and and then the purpose of that guy is to just be like <laughs> look which it's not the same type of humor and then he like made a ton of in the same video we in the same like 30 second video we made a ton of pancakes too everyone's attention is just fucking shot <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you, you know uh, all TikTok's fault, and then all the uh, all the other companies made their own shorts, you know, and they're they're terrible too. The yeah, I w- oh, he's on yeah. he's on uh, Instagram too. But is this like is the content different? That's what I don't get. I I I mean, I don't really, <laughs> I don't get TikTok. If I'm being totally honest with you, but oh, that's because we're old, we're too there. old. That's true. Oh my god! But like, if you go to his Instagram, <laughs> Instagram dot com, uh, Amori Guichon, he's got the smile in almost every single <laughs> thumbnail. So yeah, if you want to see like, like pages of it and pages of it, there it is. I would gain so much respect if there was a video of him just being like, you know, D-d-d-d-d. fuck, like <laughs> that's what I want to see, right? Just something that makes him human. As opposed to, like, I don't know. It, it, it's like even his stubble is the same from vi- video to video. Look how, like, absolutely precise his look is. Every time. Oh, man. So he is. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's all very deliberate and manufactured. So he uh, is 32. He was born in Geneva, Switzerland. He's a pastry chef. Okay. And um, he, uh, when he was 14, he began his culinary training at the Ecole Hôtelière Savoie-les-Mains. <laughs> oh, my. In France and participated in uh, local competitions. He perfected his pastry making skills working at the Wolfsburg Bakery in Geneva. And then he was hired to run the Le Notre Boutique and School in Cannes on the French Riviera. Obviously, he was older. <laughs> My goodness. He was an executive chef by 21. He was a contestant on the France 2 reality cooking series, Qui sera le prochain grand pâtissier, which is who will be the next great pastry chef. And he placed third. This guy... So he was a young prodigy who I guess ah, has been ruined by reality TV. And now he is uh, doing everything on, on the TikTok. I mean, I, I don't want to undercut like the stuff he does. Oh, he's absolutely a professional, but that doesn't, ex- yeah, that I, doesn't excuse his TikTok. <laughs> yeah, and I think, I think it's the, yeah, just like look it over his Instagram. It's the precision of his appearance that I think bothers me. There's, <laughs> there's, there's no reason to be like, like he never had like a bad hair day or a pimple or like, I don't know, you decide to let your beard grow in. I, I mean, how far back does this stuff go? It's 226 weeks. He looks exactly the same. <laughs> he, you know, what, like, he uh, guess where he lives now. Where? Las LA? Vegas. Las Vegas. Or at least a, as of the last, let's see. 
He co-founded the Pastry Academy with Belgian chef Michel Emotz in the city of Las Vegas in 2019. In 2016, he began to post his desserts and chocolate creations on social media. He has over 9 million subscribers on YouTube, 11 million followers on Instagram, and 19 million followers on TikTok. <gasps> Found a picture of him without stubble. Oh my God. Does he have a beard? Th- <laughs> no. 351 weeks ago, though. Oh, if you want to see more of him, he had an eight-episode reality series, School of Chocolate, on Netflix, a competition in which contestants construct chocolate sculptures with Guishan both guiding them and judging the final result. I don't think that's fair. He can't be the mentor and the judge. That's that's outrageous. And he's going to be on the Australian reality series Dessert Masters in 2023. He was on Master right. Chef Australia as a guest judge. It, you know who he reminds me of? The precision of his look. You know what it reminds me of? You know Shamar Moore from Criminal Minds? Nope. <laughs> okay. And every episode of Criminal Minds, it, I mean, it, it almost looks like his... Oh, my um, God. <laughs> that, this, guy looks, looks like, this guy looks uh, AI-generated. <laughs> wait, he, like... It's it's like he uh, I don't I don't know how to put it. It's like somebody drew his beard on. Yes. It's it, but it's so fine. It's so precise, um, and it's always bothered me because it's it, it's not possible to do that. <laughs> it isn't. There, there was an episode but, of Married with Children when <laughs> Bud was trying to make his beard look. Uh, more uh beardful <laughs> by taking a sharpie and and trying to color in his face hairs i wonder if there's some of that going on that's what it looks like with but the thing is i have seen shamar more with like different facial feature configurations you know but with amari Deshaun, it's just you know short i don't know Moose hair. Is that moose? I don't know. It, it's like slicked back hair. It's right. This this whole thing. Let's bring it back to metal. How about that? I <laughs> hate uh the metal equivalent of this, which is guitarists on on TikTok. It's like, what if Metallica uh, what if 72 seasons was insane anger? Uh tone. Right. And then they do like I don't know, a few seconds of each. I'm just like, what if Judas Priest played a Metallica song? And it's, <laughs> and it's just like all crap. What if Slayer, <laughs> Slayer's Divine Intervention was written in 1986? That's all terrible. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just, it's just it's, being it's just like, in, <laughs> enslaved by the algorithm for, again, for sh- fake internet points. I mean, even like, KDH, I don't know if you've ever seen him. He's an Irish guitarist. Um, he mm-hmm. has like serious discussions, more or less. But if anyone thinks it's a good vehicle for your band, <laughs> it's probably not. Like, I, he plugs his band from time to time, and I think it's dumb. And I realize the irony. The straight up irony of me saying this, and there's links to the bands in the description. Right. <laughs> but I'm not generating uh, vacuous content. <laughs> I'm generating long our... form content and Is building relationships. <laughs> Is it one of our plans to to like rate? Metalness of various sports teams Absolutely. without having we are any providing knowledge. A service. <laughs> what does that have to do? I mean, that's something that requires <laughs> thought and true permanence. And uh, you know, this uh, you know, what if what if Jason Newstead's bass was turned up? You know, is not the same thing. <laughs> and by the way, like, since I brought it up, if you want to hear Jason Newstead's bass on Injustice for All mixed properly. Don't send me, don't send me mixes because they're all terrible. They all overcompensate. 
get the Metallica box set of Injustice for All and listen to the rough cuts, the rough mixes. That's that's how it's supposed to sound. Anyway, it, if I recall correctly, they actually released the bass tracks as part of Guitar Hero. But not for all the songs, just for a lot of them. And that's how people made their mixes, and they're all like, oh. you, gotta, you gotta put the bass back into Justice, and they turn it up high because they don't know what the fuck they're doing, and it sounds like shit. <laughs> so... All right, uh, I, I'm going to go through your chocolate uh, bros uh, sculptures, and we're, I'm going to tell you whether they're metal or not. <laughs> okay. That's the service I'm going to provide. Uh, inflatable chocolate balloon dog? No. <clears throat> Pelican eating a fish? I don't know. The fish dying is metal, but no. I'm gonna go with no. Uh, uh, sword in... Like Excalibur in the stone. That's metal. That's metal right there. <laughs> How about chocolate velociraptor? Chocolate ver- velociraptor. Absolutely. And that was a fat finger. <laughs> I didn't mean to do the, the laughter, <laughs> but I can't stop it once it happens. Uh, there's a leopard. That's pretty metal. There's an orangutan. Uh, are giraffes metal? I mean, they're all neck, and so is corpse grinder. <laughs> I could take that. Oh, we'll we'll round up on the giraffe to metal. Let's see. All right. Uh, bell. There's lots of bells in metal, like giant, like Quasimodo type bells. Chocolate trident. Tri- absolutely. Uh, flowy heart. No. Uh, Tic tac toe board. There is no. A, there's a chocolate squid. Yes. But the yeah, and the squid is like gripping an anchor. <laughs> that's a double. So, that's a double. Uh, yeah, I would argue that's Kraken. As a, it's a Kraken as a result. Fire hydrant. Unless it's, unless it's shooting fire. Now there is one of him with his hand inside a chocolate sculpture of what looks to be like a dragon from uh, Skyrim. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that one's metal. Uh, this this what it, it's a fox, I think. Like perched on a on a, a stump? No. Hey, I found the Velociraptor. It's like it's yeah. it's it's over two meters tall. That thing's huge. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Uh reindeer in a sleigh. The reindeer looks like angry, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give that a good one. <laughs> There's a chocolate drummer that also looks kind of angry. Right. You, you know, like a little dr- <laughs> Um, okay, chocolate grandfather clock. Ooh, I'm gonna say metal. Okay, Be- because of the band Portal. <laughs> All right, right. <laughs> grandfather clock metal. <laughs> uh, chocolate kraken. There, there is a chocolate. There's a kraken attacking a ship. Hell yes. <laughs> and it's throwing its anchor off the side. Oh, is that right? No, or maybe- there's a chocolate purple dragon that breathes smoke <laughs> all right so you know what i think this guy's pretty metal i mean <laughs> yeah i think so too oh I, I found the i found the octopus with the anchor or is that a squid it's a squid yeah yeah i i and you know what like maybe precision is metal too you know it, like being able to get up on stage and accurately perform your solos. Oh, here's a precisely. Uh, yeah, just in the in the uh, tentacle realm. There's also an octopus attacking a giant octopus attacking a lighthouse. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, virtuosity is metal. You know, this guy is a yeah. virtuoso, and you know, prodigies. Uh, are there metal prodigies? I guess Jason Becker. <laughs> so. Yeah. It, yes, but I agree talented. that his appearance <laughs> not metal. <laughs> Two on purpose. <laughs> you, you heard it on podcast and down. That's right. Judging books by its cover. That's right. <laughs> uh, the man has immense talent, but uh, you know, stop smiling and grow your beard out. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. Just, just any video where he gets upset, I'm good. I'm in. You, do you think they, they, he cuts the camera? He's like. Nerd. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I want to see the off cuts where he's like, I don't know, saying anything off color, anything. He, he he looks like he hugs puppies for a living. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's too. Like, uh, he just, he's he, too warm. He's too. Yeah, I need some edge on this man. Now, a guy who looked like looks like this could easily be a serial killer. <laughs> oh, that is true. <laughs> like he's got like skin suits in the basement oh here's one where he made buffalo (laughs) he made a motorcycle which would be metal but it's like an old timey one sorry (laughs) no that's pretty that's still pretty metal okay well well, i'll do them both at once then (laughs) hold hold up what do you you mean that's not metal i don't know it's too it, it it makes me think too much of like uh beach boys like when when what they about sing like about easy... the motorcycles in the beach boys that's what they're singing about no, but what about easy rider and uh, like yeah, yeah, that's a good counter jack nicholson getting murdered <laughs> <That's>... okay fair <laughs> we'll have to <laughs> uh table this discussion i think <laughs> i'm gonna need some some further research yeah right in right in with what do you think <laughs> But is this but first, a, is this an easy rider motorcycle or a Beach Boys motorcycle? Yeah, and I won't tell you what the motorcycle is. You're gonna have to find it. I'm not doing all your fucking work for you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, <laughs> I think that about wraps it up. So yeah. until next time, Metal Nation, keep your media long form and your chocolate sculptures metal. <laughs> And your facial hair inconsistent. That's right. That's right. Yes. Stop smiling, damn it. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I wish I could find it. I found the other this guy. other guy. Yeah. And he and he's the same way. He's like <laughs> pouring chocolate. It's like, Finn, is this is this like a thing? Like like I have I miss- never ever seen this before ever. <laughs> well, th- that's why I got confused, because it's like I was I've been aware of Amari Gushan and, and he the the precision of his look has always kind of irked me for no good reason. And then at some point, it was like, how about this other chocolate guy? And I was like, wait, there's more? <laughs> what? It's a Chris Zhao Kai. Yeah, this is him. Okay. Ah, ah, it's so loud. Oh, my God. Okay. Chris Zhao Kai. Yeah, it's, it's the same. I, I guess he's not as smiley. He is as uh, groomed. <laughs> yes. I'd say this video is better because it's, lo- it's like shows you more of what's going on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm totally down. But, but, you know, he's clearly got the same sort of flair as Amari Gishan. I, I bet you if, okay. if Amari Gishan heard, heard me trying to pronounce his name, he'd be like, ugh. Oh God! These uh, stupid Americans. <laughs> but yeah, no, I was watching this guy, and I was like, he's doing the same thing. Like he's doing the smile. Like, oh yeah, damn it! Uh, look at his YouTube page. There's the smile. It's the uh, same toothy smile. Yeah, and again, talented. Absolutely. All right. Well, we did it before. We have to do it again. King of the Black Forest. Now that sounds metal, but it's actually just a cake. So no. Yeah. Oh, I mean no. But it reminds me of. <laughs> it reminds me of. It reminds me of Mythotin. And I, man, I really like Mythotin, so I don't know. Okay, I th- I think I can sum this this guy up quick more quickly. Acorn Kingdom, dragon boat, but it's a Chinese dragon. Are Chinese dragons metal? They can be, but I don't. I think this one's too cartoony. Let's see, chocolate kung yeah. fu panda, butterfly fairy, chocolate swan, handcrafted chocolate gift box, chocolate rabbit with chocolate uh, carrots, chocolate Santa. These are all. I'm gonna go with no on all of them. Yeah, they're they're too cute. Yeah, this guy is not as metal as the as the, the Swiss guy. Though the chocolate tiger looks pretty metal. It does. I'll, I'll say. I that. will give you that.
There, and I'll just splice that in, and no one will know, and I'll remember to take this sentence out, too.